spin, power, and intensity. Can't wait to see them play. Let's play pickleball. Side out. Other side, you got the lefty, one of the OGs, Olivia McMillan, Charleston, South Carolina. That's where she hails most of her life from. And then that's Lin Wei Kong, who played ITF Asia Tour Tennis, so that's no joke. And then part of the Wichita crew now. Well, the pickleball's got some random, random cities with crews. Yes. In tennis, we had Southern California and Florida. <laughs> Threaded through the needle from Rohrabacher, and uh, this team likes to play fast. They like to play loud. I love watching them play. They're maybe my favorite women's team to watch. right there what a rally what a rally you know it's tough though if you're mcmillan and kong you just played one of the best points of your yes. life and you didn't win it <laughs> yes. how are you gonna how are you gonna find a way to get 22 points right now but like you said that is why women's doubles is maybe the best event in pickleball that was a great point from all four ladies that was a good look at anna bright uh many would say second best player in the world intensity one, two, one. tremendous captain of her major league pickleball team the st louis shock with Kong so far. She had a handful of two-handed resets yes. and then finishes it with the one-handed punch through the middle. Those are some good things from her so far. said it earlier with Anna Bright being the second best player. A lot of people think she is. In my mind, she is the second best player. Point. And Ling Wei so Kong's sad. like, okay, I heard you, Sam. I'm going to see if you're right, right or not. I think we moved too close to the course. <laughs> you might have heard me. One, one, two. What a rope. Crazy spin on that. Rohrabacher didn't have a good read on it. The other interesting thing there with the lefty, they did not stack there when they're serving. Two, one, two. No, you know, they might have to play chaotic. Yeah. You know, against such a strong team as Rohrabacher and, and Anna Bryant, you can't give them the straight up. As the wind creeps up, those, those drops from the back are going to get tougher yes. and tougher. May see more drives just because you can't get a good read on it. She asked if that was going out, and yes, if you have to reach up around your head and swing at it, it's probably going to hit the video board, so we appreciate your care for those. And threaded down the needle from Rohrabacher. And it's such an unassuming shot. You yes. don't think she's going to, she didn't necessarily pull the trigger there, but it's a controlled kind of 50-50 ball that just plays beautifully up the line. Beautiful point for Rachel and Anna, and everybody freaked out last week. They did not play each other and with each other in Las Vegas, and that was because Bright hadn't planned on playing. Rachel already has a partner. They ain't beefing everybody. They're good. Point. You know, if she wasn't newcomer of the year, she should be most improved. She had an incredibly quick rise. I just love the running dialogue from Anna Bright. Right, you you take it, and then she took it. And I, <laughs> love, I love how clearly that's sorry. The, the audience knows oh, what's yeah. going on. The crowd can hear. 
We just need to mic her up. Mark is Point. never going to let you get out of that. Mark Thomas, one of the best we've got in uh, referees, and we appreciate the work that all of them do for not just the pros, but the amateur game as well. Over 1,200 of them in Atlanta. Well, they do a fantastic job. <laughs> Refereeing sometimes is a bit of a thankless oh, job, so it is yes. it's nice to give them the, the, the shout out. And, and not only in, in pickleball and tennis and football and basketball, oh. no one ever goes up to the ref and says, great job. So we want them to know they're doing a fantastic yes. job. Can't have our sport without them. You. You. Go. Point. So this time they are going to leave. Well, they were going to think about leaving Olivia, but they are going to oh. just, they are going full chaos here. Three, six, one. I don't blame them, as you said. I agree with you. No. Second serve. Tough luck off the tape because Kong was on it. She was all over that. And you can see Kong coming from tennis. That backhand drive that she has is hit with some authority. just took over there. You yeah. should left, to the right, to the left. Rachel just sit back and watch. Yeah, yeah and the interchangeability of Rohrabacher and Bright. You would think Bright would play the left the whole time she doesn't because she knows the damage that Rachel can do over there as well. Hi. And that is just a beautiful two down the line. My goodness. I don't think a lot of people realize how difficult that shot is to to speed up down a line for a clean Sir, winner. You don't see it too often. The, the skill it takes to hit that shot is very, very high from Anna Bright. Yeah. And there's another clean winner from Anna Bright, and she is on a heater. And I would look for Rachel now, but first, put yourself in timeout over there. And 8-3 uh, here, Sam. Look, they're the, the second best team in the world for a reason. <laughs> and we're starting to see that, especially from Anna Bright. Speed up down the line, winner. Forehand down the winner. And, now Kong and McMillan are feeling the pressure. Yeah, and you hate to miss a dink after you called timeout to slow their Everyone. momentum. Point. And another two in backhand through the middle. No one's in center field game point. Ten, three, one. And that sails deep, and that'll do it. So, right in Aurora Bakker, as impressive as usual. Guaranteed pickleball play every week. No hassle, no paddle stacking lines, no worries. Join a pickleball league today and up your game with competitive, consistent, well-matched play. Connect with your local leagues, check live rankings on your phone, and play with ease. Whether you're there to socialize with your community, network across the net, or have fun playing your favorite sport, leagues are a stress-free way to enjoy your play. Find your closest league at pickleball.com and click leagues today to get started. Side out. And those thirds just get harder. You, you know, if you leave one up, you're going to eat it. Zero, zero, one. For Kong, I said it earlier, she's got a great backhand know, drive. You should commit to that every time. Yeah. And just get that out of there. And so Kong, Kong knew she messed up when she hit it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have a paddle up. She gave up when she saw. One zero one. Rachel wind up for that. Second serve. One zero two.
point. Two zero two. Macmillan Kong break the, the rut they're in. I know, it's just Zero, two, one. go with the ball here. Oh, and then just a ball that rides the rail. There's no chance to get to that one from the baseline. Those are the fun ones if you can get to yes. it when it's just an easy ATP Zero, as hard as you can to the middle of the court. That's a ball that's there to be attacked. Yeah, and as she plays more and more, she's going to get a little more used to making that movement a little quicker, getting the ball a little earlier, and she's going to make that. Kong's a, she's a tall girl, so she wants to use her height to take over the middle of the court. And speaking of taking over, there's Rachel Rohrabacher just threading one to the backhand and then ready. The reload of these ladies is phenomenal too, Sam. Three, that's one of the one. thing, that the higher level you get in pickleball, you're ready for a kind of a two and three ball put away. And I know Laura Bacher got the glory there, but two amazing resets from Bright. That's the tough thing with pickleball. Free sets are so difficult. You get no love for them. People, they don't look fancy, but they are such a crucial point to, uh, part of this game. Second serve. Beautiful from Olivia McMillan flying through the air. Rock that Four down with your feet. Oh, God. Down. And these are kind of the games, too. I we see this a lot from Anna Lee. When she gets big one. leads, and we saw it in the mixed doubles, she'll start trying new things, trying other sides. I know the, the match isn't over yet, but I think Anna and Rachel should use this now and, and try some things that maybe they're uncomfortable with. You know, start thinking about how do we beat Anna Lee and Catherine Parentau in finals. Second Let's work serve. on some of those now in, in live matches. And there you saw the first top spin lob Zero, right two. as you discussed that. That's a shot that Anna Bright has really perfected this year. Get the lead right as well. Yeah, they are the only team to beat Anna Lee and Catherine, who are 108 and one. That is not a spoken typo. That is ridiculous. That's how dominant they've been. But the one win was for the duo on your screen here in Austin on a Monday. Four zero one. to start game two, and a timeout is called by the 25 seed. Borabacher are a machine, and they are taking it to the 25 seed. Let's see if Olivia McMillan and Bling Wei Kong came up with something. They got Sarah Ansbury trying to coach them up on their bench. Yikes, gets tagged. And sometimes you don't think when Rachel's moving in there, you're almost expecting a reset or a ding, yes. not for her to speed Six it up. And she one. just unassumingly speeds it up at the at the head of Kong. Point. And you can see Kong is a bit shaken up. Yes. She didn't move her feet there. When your feet stop moving in any sport, really, Six you're in trouble. One. Yeah. Oh, Thanks, sir. Anna Bright caught with her feet in the cookie jar there, which is weird, but uh, got uh, beat there looking for the poach. Nice shot. Very simple. There we go. Okay, a little energy. It doesn't matter if it came off the tape. Go. Yeah, I like that from a team. Like, lose the first game badly, you're down 7-0, but you, all you want to see from these players is right till the end. And those come on, it was great to hear. Second serve. 
Zero seven two. Yeah, they're trying everything again. Olivia, the lefty on the left. Beautiful lob put away combo because the middle is just begging to be lobbed into when you have the forehands on the outside. Exactly. If you could put the lob up, it doesn't even have to be a great lob, but if your opponent has to go back on that backhand side, you're in good position. She makes eight of ten yes. right there. Because we always talk about the drive and crash, but you can drop and crash just as well. And sometimes you get even better sitters. Oh, that's pretty. Everyone's looking for the ATP and threads it back through the middle. Yeah, you saw Anna Bright covering the ATP. I actually don't think the ATP was there on that one. And Olivia one, McMillan seven, does a good job of recognizing Anna trying to cover that. And Finds the opening through the, through the middle. Yeah. Second serve. I mean, inside out, two-handed backhand through the middle, just beautifully struck. One, seven, two. Shot you work on it. No. You just kind of have that or you don't. We used to say in tennis that you hit a unique shot. You can't coach that. <laughs> Bright's yelling out, and Rachel's like, I'm patting the stats, sister. Actually a tough overhead. Yeah. She kind of made it look easy, placed it in the corner Seven over there, one. the short angle. Point. No, Ling Wei Kong gets tagged again. Rohrbacher and Bright are, are recognizing that. She's not able to get her body out of the way. Yes. I think the more she plays against these top teams, the more she'll realize they're going to kind of go for it then, and she'll slowly but surely make sure she gets her body out of the way and recognize some of these speed ups and be able to handle it a little better. Yeah, the other thing here is partner familiarity. Brighton Rohrbacher played a ton of pickle. This is the first tournament for Ling Wei Kong and Olivia McMillan, so you don't know where your partner's putting the ball. That's a problem also. Wow, that stays in. I'm not receiver. 10 1 1. And here we go. I didn't get the invite to commentate oh, with the, yeah, for that yes, one. Yes, so that know? is not true, everyone at home. <laughs> and what a finish to this match. Rohrabacher and Bright just too good. 11 3, 11 1. Not that the field needed to hear a statement win like this, but they come out here and play fast, and they look terrific, Sam. Well, let's go ahead and get to our winners. We have Rachel Rohrbacher and Anna Bright standing with us. Rachel, I'm going to start with you first. Uh, two forehands in the middle, like Matt just said, but then they switched it and put the two-handed or the two forehands on the outside. How did that change your strategy and patterns throughout this match? Honestly, I think with two forehands in, in the middle or two backhands in the middle, the middle is still up for contention. So I don't think we really changed our game plan. Just some spots were different. Like when Olivia is on the left side, she can hit that curl in forehand um, or no opposite side. I don't know, but we just played the same way. <laughs> don't ever ask me for strategy. Right, great answer, Rachel. Anna, you two are both playing great. The only team to take out Anna Lee and Catherine. What's it going to take to get back to that form? Um, you know, I don't know. They're they're a really really solid team. I feel like we're also a really good team. Um, but you know, we got we got to get there first. You know, I think we've gotten we've played them in we played them twice since we played them in Austin. So you know, it's it's definitely going to work toward, towards where we're competing with them more regularly. And we just we got to put ourselves in that situation. So I think that that's the focus is make the final. You know, have a have a good deep run here, and then and then we'll kind of think about that match. Rachel, I won't ask you a strategy question. I don't want you to think too hard. You're I was like, both, oh, no, not another one. You're both intense, known for the big come, come on. Which one of you is more intense and why? 
Oh, that's a tough question. I feel like Anna's more intense, like stalking around the court, like with herself, and she's like easygoing with me. But I think my commands might be more intense. I might be a little more like psychopathic with the commands <laughs> and um, high energy. She's and definitely she's higher more, pitch. Yeah, she's higher pitch. So you can definitely hear sure. me more. But I think you know. Equally intense, probably. My first instinct was to say myself if I had been asked the question. I'm going to be honest. Well, I think you're more intense, like, in between, like, like yeah, the stalking. Yeah, like, yeah, come on, come on. I have a funny And walk. I try to be a little bit more, like, uppity and a little more positive, yeah, keeping like, us positive. All good. Yeah. All no good. It was really stupid, but all good. <laughs> <laughs> but that rarely ever happens.